Welcome to another beautiful day here at Mills Motors located at 240 Bond Street East in Oshawa. Today we're having a look at the 2018 Acadia Denali all-wheel drive shown here in the awesome white frost tri-coat and under the hood you'll find a 3.6 liter dock direct injected V6 engine with six speed automatic transmission. We're gonna take a look at the inside of this vehicle now. The upholstery in here is all leather. Just down here, you have the controls for the eight-way power adjustable driver seat, which includes lumbar support. Uh, this vehicle is also equipped with Bose premium speakers. Also, just beside that, we have uh, the power programmable lift gate here, so you can set the trunk to open all the way, three quarters of the way, or turn the feature off completely. And to actually open the trunk to that desired height, all you have to do is press that button once. So we'll get inside the vehicle now and show you all the cool features in here. We'll start at this IntelliLink color touchscreen. As you can see, you have time and temperature display. This vehicle has a Wi-Fi hotspot. This vehicle has access to AM, FM, and XM radio. So you can uh, flip through those radio sources using this radio button on the screen or the one down below. You can also connect your mobile device to the vehicle and listen to some music from that. Uh, you can access that music using the media button on the screen or once again the one down below you can tune to whatever station you would like browse through the available stations you can also set favorite radio stations by simply pressing and holding the spot where you want the favorite to go uh, you actually have multiple pages of those favorites that you can set so it's not just what's shown at the bottom there to get back to the main menu with all the options displayed you want to hit the home button so as I mentioned, you can connect your mobile device to the vehicle and this will help you take advantage of hands-free calling or SMS text messaging. As well, this vehicle is compatible with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as you can see through that projection icon right there. This vehicle also has a built-in navigation system. So clicking on that nav icon, a map pops up showing you where you are currently, what's around you. You can also input a destination to make sure you don't get lost on your way anywhere. Uh, you can also control the rear climate from this touch screen here. So you control the temperature, you can turn it on and off, you can control the fan speed, uh, you can sync it up to whatever the driver's side temperature is here. So lots of options from this screen. If we go to the second page of options here uh, and click on this camera icon, so this is pretty cool. This vehicle is equipped with a surround view camera system. So you, as you can see, uh, you can see all the way around your vehicle. You can see if someone's approaching from the front, from the sides, you can see all the way around the back of your vehicle, which is super, super handy, especially when you're uh, like parking in a, a very busy location, like a grocery store, let's say. Uh, you don't know what's going on around you normally, uh, but with this uh, camera system, you, uh, you always know know what's around your vehicle uh, as well as you can see down here you uh, this is actually showing the, f the vision from the front of the vehicle so you have instead of just having a rear view camera you now have a front view camera so if there is let's say a bike on the ground in front of my vehicle I would see it uh, using this camera and I would know not to uh, not to start driving until I move that bike you can also access uh, the rear vision camera here so you can have it uh, without the lines with the lines projecting uh, the vehicles uh, the vehicles path you can also have uh, this line here if you have um, like a trailer let's say and you can uh, project that path as well uh, so and I can as I said I can access all of this while the vehicle is in park it doesn't have to be in reverse to access the rear camera or drive to access uh, the front view camera here I'm in park right now and I can access all the cameras so those are super cool um, as well, you have this traffic icon here. Clicking that, a list will come up on the side of all the problem areas around you uh, to make sure that you can get to your destination as quickly and as safely as possible. So taking a look now at the buttons below that, you have this button here to turn on and off the stereo system. The dial will control the volume. Then you have this dial over here to, con uh, sorry, to navigate any menu. Button on top will help you select whatever you land on. We then get to all the front climate controls here. So this vehicle is equipped with dual climate zones in the front seat. This dial is used to control the driver's seat temperature. This one is used to control the passenger seat temperature. As you can see, they're currently set to different temperatures, but you can sync them up to whatever the driver's side temperature is. Uh, this button in the center will turn on and off the climate control. The dial will control the fan speed. You have front and rear window defrost, air conditioning, of course. There's also an option for both the driver and the passenger to have heated or cooled seats, which is very nice. So no matter what the weather's like outside, you can be sure that you'll be comfortable inside your vehicle here. Uh, just beside that, you have a lot of storage space as well. At the back there, there are two USB ports, an auxiliary input, as well as an auxiliary power outlet. Moving back in between the seats, now you have the button for traction control and the hazard lights. Moving back a little further, you have two cup holders. We then get to this awesome drive mode selector here. So you have uh, options of two wheel drive, four wheel drive, sport touring mode, off-road mode, or tow or haul mode. Um, and you also have the button for park assist and lane keeping assist. 
we then get to this very nice leather wrapped center armrest here so opening that up uh, you have plenty more storage space down below you also have this little slot to program your key for the teen driver mode uh, looking directly up from there, you have this beautiful power tilt and sliding sunroof to let in some fresh air, some sunlight. However, if it is a little too sunny, you have the option to pull the shade across and block out some of that sunlight. This sunroof is controlled by these two controls just up here. So as you can see, uh, the one button is for the slide function, one is for the tilt function. Just above that, you have three garage door openers. Uh, I just want to point out quickly that this vehicle is push start ignition so you don't have to worry about fumbling with your keys or anything. Just simply get inside the vehicle, put your foot on the brake, press and hold that button, the vehicle will get started up for you. Taking a look at the right hand side of this very nice leather wrapped steering wheel here, you have this circle of buttons to control that driver information center, which is a screen right in front of the driver there. Here's a little bit of the information it offers you. Uh, as the driver you can control it all, as I said, with those buttons that are right at your fingertips. Uh, the buttons beside that are for hands-free communication. You have two buttons back here where my fingers are. Those will help you control the audio volume. Over here on the left-hand side, you have all your cruise control settings. It's actually adaptive cruise control as this vehicle is equipped with forward collision warning. You also have an option for a heated steering wheel. Once again, there are two buttons back here where my fingers are. Those will help you flip through those favorite radio stations if you have them set. To the left-hand side of the steering wheel now, you have the parking brake, interior lighting controls, up here beside the handle, you have the power lock and unlock, as well as the preferences for seat and mirror memory. And we'll finish it off with some basic controls over here on the driver's side door. So we have the power windows, the window locks, and the power heated outside mirrors. So we're going to take a look at the back of this vehicle now. We'll start here at those awesome 20-inch polished aluminum wheels. Coming around the corner now, lined along the back of the vehicle are ultrasonic parking sensors. These will alert the driver if the vehicle is getting too close to anything while in reverse. Uh, so to open up this truck now, you can use the button uh, and the handle located just down here. You can also use the trunk release button located on the key fob. So when the vehicle is unlocked, all you have to do is press this button twice and the trunk will open itself up. So that's a really handy feature, especially if your hands are full and you need to get this trunk open. So taking a look inside here, there's a good amount of storage space in the back. You also have extra storage space ju located just underneath that tab there. You have an auxiliary power outlet over on the right hand side. Also some hooks if you want to attach anything to secure the cargo back here. Uh, and as I said, you do have a good amount of trunk space here, but if you want more trunk space, you can actually fold the third and second row of seating forward to give you more room in the back here. So I'll show you how to do that now. For this third row of seating, all you wanna do is pull this handle. You're gonna to have to pull it twice. So the first one is gonna flip the, uh, the headrest down. The second one is going to uh, release the seat and then you can push it forward. So same procedure over there for this second one. And then to get that second row of seating down from the trunk here, you wanna use these handles on the side. Uh, so just pulling them back will push those seats, uh, well, sorry, will um, make the seats go flat. Uh, so there's one and the other one. So super easy. And as you can see with all those seats flat, it just gives you so, so much more trunk space here. To get the third row of seating back up, all you wanna do is pull on that same handle. You're just gonna pull it back up until it clicks into place here. Do the same with the second one. Uh, so to close this trunk up now, there is a handle located up here that you can use, or you can use the button just to the left of that, which is much more easy. You can press that once, the trunk will start to close for you, and once again, you don't have to do any work. So we're going to take a look at the back seat area of this vehicle now. We'll start here at the rear passenger side door. You have lots of storage compartments there. You have a little cup holder, this beautiful wood grain trim, as well as the power window controls back here. So as you saw earlier, the second row of seating can fold flat to give you even more trunk space. I did it using some handles in the trunk, but if you don't want to uh, open the trunk every time you want to fold these seats flat, I can show you how to do it from right here. So you're actually just going to pull up on this handle down here, pulling them on that once flips the seat flat. It's the same procedure over there for the second captain's chair uh, to get it back up to its normal position. You just want to flip it back up until it clicks into place. Uh, you can also adjust these seats so they move uh, forward and backwards depending on how much uh, leg room you want for the people in the third row seating. I would show you that but it's a little difficult to do uh, with only one hand here uh, but it is very easy if you have two hands available. So I'll take a step inside the back seat now. Uh, you have some storage space located behind both the passenger seat and the driver's seat as well. Behind the center console, you have some uh, climate controls. You actually have an option for heated seats for the people in the second row here. You have a power outlet, two USB ports. You also have this little drawer at the bottom for lots of storage space. 
Um, so as I mentioned, there are two captain's chairs in this third row of seating. Looking just above those chairs, you have this beautiful fixed moon roof back here. Uh, so it won't open up, but it lets in lots and lots of sunlight for the people in the back here. However, if it is a little too sunny, once again, you have the option of pulling uh, the shade across to block out some of that sunlight. Uh, looking through this pass-through center seat here, you can see that third row is uh, two seats back there. So this vehicle is a six-passenger vehicle. You have a little cup holder on that side, uh, another cup holder and some storage space on that side, as well as another USB port. What an awesome vehicle, both inside and out. So once again, this was a look at the 2018 Acadia Denali all-wheel drive, shown here in the awesome white frost tri-coat. And this vehicle is equipped with the safety and connectivity of OnStar. It also has its own 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot. If you'd like to give this Acadia a test drive, please come down to Mills Motors, located at 240 Bond Street East in Oshawa, where we will always do whatever it takes.